Hello there, Cancer, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there, Cancer. And you are being surrounded by angels at this time, Cancer, and everything is going to work out well, okay? So just trust and have faith right now. Uh, wisdom, everything has a place and purpose. To be wise is to have great love and tolerance and compassion for all things. So we may need to have a little bit more tolerance and compassion for things right now. Um, you will soon receive some positive news and the channels for clear and honest communication are now open. Keep an open heart and speak your truth lovingly without fear. Hmm. There may be a sense of like page of cups energy coming through. You could be having a conversation here with someone, um, an emotional and honest conversation, a new beginning. Even if it could be with someone from the past here, it could, uh, you know, with the page, it's a, you know, new conversation, a new phase. Uh, so just take what re part resonates for you, but you are going to be receiving some positive news, determination, perseverance, and patience will lead to a positive outcome. So don't give up. Okay. You're headed towards achievement here and you're going to see some type of results. There may even be page of pentacles coming through as well. So with that, there could be some positive news about money, finances. There could be a gift of money. There could be a <clears throat> new person on the horizon or friendship, okay? That leads to bigger and greater things if you want it. You may need to take a little time out to meditate here. Some of you, you need to know that your prayers have been heard and they are being answered right now. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through. I, I really sense this is about, <clears throat> you know, really honoring this whole, you know, insight here with everything has a place and purpose to be wise is to have great love, tolerance and compassion for all things. So we're just probably for some laying things to rest right now. Maybe you need some rest. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's get a little bit more too with the uh, four of swords here for cancer. You're going to be receiving a blessing here, Cancer. At this very moment, oh my goodness, look at this. <clears throat> this is the healing angel and the Four of Swords is the healing card here. At this very moment, you are being bathed in gold, pink, and deep green light. Accept this healing. We, your angels, surround you with our wings of love. You are eternally free, eternally fresh, and eternally abundant. Prepare for some type of new beginning. So you may need to rest, recuperate, or just take time to know, you know, that <clears throat> taking time out for yourself is well worth it here because you are manifesting or will be brought some type of new potential here. You are by nature infinitely creative. Life is a sea of creative potential just waiting to be expressed through you. You are free to express all your heart's desire. So you may need to take a little time out and channel this energy. What else for cancer? <clears throat> also, cancer, be sure to check out shorts. Those are a new addition to the channel. Hope you like them. What else for cancer in sun, moon, rising and Venus? Oh, be the light. See, I feel that in the face of whatever's going on here, you do need to be the light, right? Even if it's challenging or triggering for others, that's okay. You know, the determination is really paying off here. I was sensing page of pentacles. I, I'm just looking at this uh, pentacle here. So there, there's something that is coming into the the uh, scene realm because what I'm seeing here is this white witch which is your energy of being you know in your light knowing your truth here but also harnessing powers mystic powers even channeling good energies and materializing something really positive in one's life and whether it's a page of pentacles or maybe quite possibly as big as the ace of pentacles it's some type of tangible, real material item in your life that can carry you forward. Okay. 
So what I was seeing with this Ace of Pentacles is, you know, it's just not totally visible just yet. It's not like white or bright or whatever color it needs to be, but it's showing up. So it's just in between realms right now, or maybe we should say dimensions even. Hmm, that's kind of cool. All right, let's see what else for you, Cancer. Hmm. Cancer, some of you, I almost wanted to call <laughs> you guys Capricorn. There may be, you may have Capricorn placements in your chart. You may resonate with Capricorn's reading in this series, possibly. Uh, what else for Cancer? Or you could have or be dealing with Capricorn. We've got uh, taking charge with authority here. So we may need to take time out to <clears throat> reorganize our thoughts or reassess our energy or just take a little time out so that we have the energy to take charge with authority. I'm getting emperor energy coming through with this as well. Some of you, you could be manifesting a new position for yourself, maybe in the regards of career, business, occupation, you know, whatever, or maybe, you know, just leveling up here, commanding more uh, respect wherever you go. So for some, you are having to take charge, maybe even more just to, um, <clears throat> you know, honor of being in this present moment, because I feel for some of you, you've had some type of disappointing situation with the four of swords here where we, we need to take a little time out. We've had maybe some type of heartbreak or a sense of feelings, uh, going through some type of separation of some type here. Uh, maybe, you know, just great, uh, disappointment appointment in the regards of love life here for some of you or maybe even you know work path but it doesn't necessarily mean all of you were going through that this is about the present moment right now so it's about taking time to heal honor you know visions for some of you or take time to contemplate or give yourself some time to contemplate on what's the right next move for you but most importantly, you're, you are drawing in this creative potential here. What else for cancer? <clears throat> Mindfulness. Be mindful of another's feelings and needs right now. Someone needs your love right now. A loving thought is all it takes. Didn't we just have something about... Well, this healing angel is you here. Hmm. Oh, the channels for clear and honest communication are now open. Keep an open heart. You may have some type of, you know, situation where we have some type of relief here where maybe we've had some, you know, challenge with someone possibly, or at least come into for some a, a new place where we can freely just be honest and, and not have anything from the past uh, be a block, right? From this point on and where you're going with yourself and them. Be mindful. Okay, so that's be mindful of another. Uh, so some of you healer here too, right? So this card of healing. Also, I'm seeing some of you just taking the time out to send those healing energies to the ones that you do love or, you know, a, a situation that maybe needs a little love and light. Uh, whatever you do, just know that you have that power. And I see someone who is being very much in the state of mindfulness. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Surrender. Just look at that four of, <clears throat> excuse me, swords card. Four of swords, we're surrendering. There's no point in pushing the barrel up such a steep hill. See, we're just laying something down here, right? Go back to the start. Surrender your expectations. There's an easier way. And when the time is right, a new path will appear. So part of taking charge with authority would be to surrender your expectations. Maybe just go back to the start for some of you. Given to the divine mystery, you along with the sun, earth, moon, and stars are part of one creation, a divine mystery unfolding each moment. Be present and feel the power of now. So here you are, you know, taking that time to, you know, maybe recollect your energy, right? For some, so that you have that power to turn that light on and be that light. Even if you feel that, you know, 
There's a lot of darkness around for some. Be present and feel the power of now. Be in the moment and witness the wonder of it all. And we've got this thing about integrity too. So let's take a look here. Be flexible, but also true to you. Mm -hmm. Standing, oh my gosh, stand by your beliefs and values and others will stand by and believe you. Ooh, yeah. See, I feel like this is you, you know, taking charge, being that light, standing in your own and uh, truth and, and, and integrity here. And others will stand by and believe you. And didn't I say something for some of you guys about commanding like respect or authority or attention? I don't know, something like that, I thought. Anyhow, let's continue and see what else for you. What else for cancer? Let's find out. Okay, see beyond the current situation here. I do feel that a lot of you may be having to face some kind of, you know, adversity. Uh, I guess, ha, let's just say challenges because my mouth can't talk. Uh, but see beyond the current situation here. Okay. This is what you're doing with the Four of Swords. <clears throat> is seeing beyond the current situation here. Wisdom, right? And what is this? Dream and journey. Whoa. Look at the Four of Swords. Dreaming. Visioning meditating there's something about taking this dream and journey here that's going to help you get insight receive answers solutions ideas stirring up what needs to be stirred up here for some because not all of you but maybe for some we may have to surrender and go back to the start here <clears throat> and envision maybe something new okay and, and to explore that What else for cancer? Your garden is a healing place. Seek refuge there to heal your soul. Go within. Find your inner peace. Problems resolve when you listen to your inner self. That's how you can resolve a situation <clears throat> so see how you're just surrendering you're not I, I feel for some of you if you are facing conflicts and challenges if you can and you don't have to give it energy then don't right just give in to surrendering seeing a butterfly is confirmation that your nature spirits are working with you so maybe you do need to go outside more or just pay attention to butterflies or images of butterflies and however they show up physical real life or not real life it doesn't matter when it speaks to you it's meant for you <clears throat> what else for cancer make plans and focus well and then wait oh look at this oh 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 this is good so remember this whole thing about seeing beyond the current situation, Cancer, and you're going to be getting some important information. Wait for important information here because a lot of you, you are the oracle, okay? You're receiving answers. Whatever, you, whatever comes to you, don't question it. If it speaks to you and however it speaks to you, honor it. Take it, okay? Because for a lot of you, it's going to help you focus and make those plans. Now, a lot of you, you have already made some plans. Maybe we're just needing to focus more. Ooh, that's kind of why there's this thing about this, you know, being in, you know, uh, in between dimensions right now. Because it's like focusing, focusing more here. So good. Spirit is gifting you something here to help you move on your journey. And maybe go an easier way here. What else for cancer? Hmm, there's that's interesting. That is interesting. <clears throat> Here's the devil card, but it is associated with Capricorn. <laughs> and I was picking up Capricorn here. Wow. Okay, we got this thing about integrity too. Hmm. 
there's something that we might be feeling bound to or some of you you know we got to focus because this devil could be a distraction let's see what was behind it okay yeah there's something probably distracting here so I, you know, maybe people, situations, <clears throat> listen to the wisdom of yourself, your higher self and your body. If it feels negative and draining to you, then right now it's not really good for you. Okay. So you could say it's toxic or whatever. You could just say for now, I just don't need it. Now there could be something here with others too. So some of you, you know, you may need to pay attention, right? Cause you may need to focus cause I can see some people <laughs> You know, drinking and partying or whatever for some, right? And the devil can speak about, you know, addictions or overindulgence here. So just kind of pay attention to that and keep things in balance. I feel some of you are just going to be spacing yourself from things right now, distancing yourself from things or people that, you know, cause, you know, some type of negative situation or reaction with you or whatever. I want more with the devil though. <clears throat> We got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I want more with this Devil card. What do you want Cancer to know when it comes to this the Devil here? Learn from spiritual experiences and release the old and rest. Wow, we have the great teacher. It looks like Jesus to me. Look at this. Isn't that, I love how Jesus came right over here. <laughs> look, look. Okay, so you are on the path of <clears throat> becoming a great teacher or meeting a great teacher. There's something about a higher calling and a higher way. And a lot of you, yes, there's, there's a, something that's pulling you guys here. So you have and are learning from, you know, those experiences, even when they're negative, okay? Or it, even if we labeled it or judge it as negative, whatever, right? You're learning from it all. So good and congratulations. The other thing that I see too is for some of you guys, it's almost like once something is released, we can now rejoice and, and come into our own, come into like maybe, you know, birds of a feather flock together, okay? Because you don't belong over here. And then look, we've got the raven here <clears throat> and autumn. So there could be something tied in for some of you with the season of autumn, but release uh, the old and rest. Oh, <laughs> look. That's uh, four of swords because you are a great teacher. Now, some you are again, calling forth a great teacher t towards you and maybe someone that for some of you, you know, could be tied on tied in with your, um, you know, spiritual path or a, a path that you find is sacred for you. Oh, this great teacher came out with the, the, these guys here. <clears throat> What else? High Priestess <laughs> Integrity. Oh, and the Chariot Cancer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And it landed on the Integrity. I feel like this card wants to speak to us too. So we'll take that in a second here. Be flexible, but also be true to you. And look, oh my goodness. I just feel like, you know, I want to be surprised if Justice card... Um, doesn't show itself, but if it doesn't, I feel like it's already here anyway. So there's a new opportunity for you. I, I feel for some of you, you're really embodying this uh, high priestess and the chariot, which is really at home with you anyways, cancer. Okay. So <clears throat> be flexible. Also true to you. Stand by your beliefs and values and others will stand by and believe you and respect you by the way. Okay. Cause I know a lot of you are teaching or have taught people how to treat you. Okay. With respect. <laughs> Um, I love this, man. I love what's going on with the uh, high priestess and the chariot here. Cause we're moving along. It's like silent, like silence in a silent way, but in a very powerful way. Wow. Seeing beyond that current situation. Some of you may need to keep some of your, uh, dreams and your plans to yourself for the time being. Okay. And allow things to unfold here and you are moving forward. Some of you, you know, don't be surprised if, you know, you have great success or an opportunity to, you know, uh, step it up on your path here. And I'm seeing this, uh, I'm like a 
chariot to me is like masculine, but it's not. But I am seeing a person here too for some of you guys, okay? And look at that. Wait for important information. And then you're going to be moving here, Cancer, right at home here with chariot because that's associated with Cancer. Oh, this one. This one. Oh, Queen of Wands. Nice. You know, confidence uh, for some of you. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Okay, now can I tell, okay. Hmm. I was kind of getting this one. So you, you will resonate with this if it hits you right here because some of you cancers, if you have been doing this, good. But maybe some you're being asked to kind of, you know, let the wild out, okay? Let the, unleash that wild within. Because I feel like that's what the Queen of Wands wants to do here. So don't hold back on things. Stay determined here. Some of you, you, okay, now take this if it resonates because it won't for all of you, but um, some of you, some of you cancers, especially if you have been getting triggered lately or challenged by others, maybe even angered, right? That's what I mean by triggered. But anyhow, um, there's, uh, I, I can always see that there is um, a way for you to channel that in a positive outlet, okay? Um so just utilize whatever you can to channel that energy. Don't bottle up, bottle that up inside of you, okay? But I feel for some of you, you are being asked to kind of maybe release and unleash the wild within yourself here, okay? And explore uh, something um, like raw and natural about you. What else for cancer? <clears throat> there, for some of you cancers, hmm. Could there be, take it if it resonates, because if we're talking about someone that could be challenging for you, I would say it would be someone that's really bossy, maybe, impatient. Oh, 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 some of you cancers really do need to listen to, you know, and this is just how life is, you know, you, you may need to... You may need to watch out here because there could be negative or jealous energy that could surround you too, okay? Because I feel here you are up here and there could be something going on here, negative about others, maybe jealous of you in, in, in some way here. You, oh, I'm seeing something about a secret admirer here for a lot of you Cancers as well. I think people have secret crushes on you. So clarity, close your eyes for a moment, breathe in the blue of the sky and feel a gentle breeze flow through you. There is peace, there is clarity, a magical healing has just taken place, a gift from your guardian angel. Oh my gosh, there we go. And when you have that clarity, we can move here, but the clarity is actually coming from within. Okay, because you're accessing it through channeling that high priestess energy. <clears throat> what else for cancer? Life never ends. Spirit endures all. See, I feel that there's like, you know, this thing where even when you're feeling it, you know, you're not in it alone. And spirit is uh, helping you stay determined. That's why I feel a lot of you guys, that chariot is just so perfect because this is, Focus, this is determination here. Uh, some of you don't worry about, you know, what you can or cannot handle because for some, there could be a battling of priorities, but just focus on what's the most important for you, okay? Um, and then don't get distracted. There's something about some of you to not get distracted here and veer off course. What else for cancer? Simplify your life and the answers you seek will appear. Hmm. Take time out and see where we can simplify one's life. Make it easier for you. That's the secret right now is if you can, do it. Make it easier for you. What else for cancer? Fear. I, Archangel Michael, I'm here to help you through the present time. I love you. I protect you and keep you safe. Trust that all is well. Accept my love and allow it to, to dissolve fear. Right? Release the old and rest. 
just stand and be in that light. What else? The best way through the current situation is to just speak your truth and don't fear it, Cancer. Contrary to what you may think, no one will be hurt if you express exactly how you feel. See, you're like a commander here with authority. And remember, there was a, there was a, a card here about uh, the channels for open uh, and honest, clear communication. Excuse me. Yeah, the channels for clear and honest communication are now open. Ooh, you might receive some truth here. Man, okay, I feel it is like justice. So some of you, you know, maybe there is, you know, a sense of an apology or getting down to the truth, making amends. Either way, we're coming into peace. What's this? Archangel Michael. <laughs> oh my gosh. How many times Arch Archangel Michael is coming through? Or is this something I already read here? The path is now clear. I have removed all obstacles in your way. You can now move forward. Okay. Did I, did I already read this one? Sorry if I did, but I don't think so. You can now move forward. Uh, you can move forward now with ease and confidence. Okay, this is Chariot, Queen of Wands. I mean, this is this. You will achieve what your heart desires. Have confidence in yourself. You're going to achieve your heart's desires. You will not be denied. What else? Trust your talents in changing times. This is, okay, this is, oh, this is right here. This is, oh, I can see it. I can see it here. Look at this. I mean, you know, you're not doubting yourself here. You're trusting your own self in changing times, right? Driving that chariot right on course. You have gifts and abilities, and you just need to continue trusting that you can adapt to these. You can figure it out because you're smart by seeing beyond the current situation, listening to your intuition, listening to the great teacher, by the way, that comes to you in your dreams, your visions, listen, and you'll, you will, and you are currently moving beyond any limitations right now. What else? And you're a fox. A lot of you guys, see, I'm, I'm serious. You got see, so, something about secret admirers here. You know, foxy, foxy. <laughs> okay. Uh, stay rooted and grounded. Okay. No matter what. what. What can you do to stay rooted and grounded for some of you? What calls to you? Garden. Uh, putting your feet on grass. Sitting by a tree. Getting fresh air. It can just be little things. Little by little, right? Especially if a lot of you are having to do a lot of things at once or a lot is changing at one time, I would say it would be kind of good for you if you can uh, stick to something like some something consistent that is, you know, grounding for you, whether it's having a meal at the same time, um, you know, meditating, sitting outside, something you can do and count on as a routine to help you stay in your light, right? So you can trust. Because see, when you have rooted yourself and grounded yourself because you're standing in your own truth, you're standing in your own integrity, there is nothing that can sway you. There's nothing that can influence you except for you. <laughs> so you're harnessing some great powers right now between you, your higher self, God, Jesus, the universe, What else? Vision. Okay. I'm just going to pull up the, the <laughs> four of swords. A positive outcome requires a positive vision. Visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by light and love. Make sure to include yourself also. Your love has a power to influence and transform the current events. Your love seems to be the key here. So your love is your weapon, actually. And it's your love that channels you, <clears throat> that drives you and steers you in the, the, the direction of your dreams here or a more desirable situation, right? 
I am seeing a powerful healer here or someone that's very, very powerful um, spiritually. Okay. What else for cancer? You're being guided by unseen forces. Yes, you are. Have faith all as well. What else? Trust all will work out well. We, your angels, are here to nurture, to protect, and heal you. You're being healed right now, so it's easier to work with you when you take the time out too. So hopefully you are, right? And trust. Maybe some maybe you some of you may just need more naps or take naps or maybe sleep more. Trust in the healing power of our love. We love you more than you will ever know. So they're like bombarding you with the power of love so no wonder it's channeling right through you <laughs> and you're getting ready to share it with others or another what else for cancer focus on your dreams mm-hmm Allow the, allow the power of manifesting to start now. Here you are focusing on your dreams and not letting anything shake your doubt about that at all. What else? The bottom of this one wants to show itself too. Oh my goodness. What, what, what? just came out oh my goodness what was it oh my. just look at this you're full of love now share it with another there was something that I was getting and I almost said exactly this oh my goodness I mean you're filling your cup up here every being has free will stop trying to control the situation yeah I feel some of you you know you've got to just see where you are trying to control a situation or maybe just trying to figure it out um, and, and just release it and just stand in this light right now. You've got to trust that you're going to be receiving, uh, oops, yeah, information that's going to help guide you here, okay? And also, yeah, oh, cancer, we could be, I mean, some of you could be feeling controlled by something or someone or vice versa, right? But every being has free will. Stop trying to control the situation. What else for cancer? Take, oh, the time is right. Have faith because your desire is about to come to fruition right here. It's about to come to fruition here. So focus on your dreams and allow the power of manifesting to start now, not later. Okay, now. What else? transform and unveil your gifts so this is tied in with something that's transforming with your own spiritual gifts or gifts and talents that you know you have allow them to expand you know even ask questions about about them to yourself and see and be aware of them opening as well to you answers okay so yeah a lot of you are figuring something new out or there's something being unveiled for you look this is i mean here you are. So keep things to yourself for some of you right now, especially when it comes to goals and your dreams. You know, I it would just be wise to share. You, you, you know, you just want to be careful here because not everybody is into, you know, your dreams or <laughs> goals, right? But sometimes talking about it can like disturb the seed, right? Because that's your seed that you're sowing for that dream. So... When we involve others, sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing, though. Um, be open to healing information. So there's something healing coming your way. Also, a lot of you, you know, I was picking up a powerful healer here. So you're being gifted to enhance your knowledge, your skills. A path may be showing up or an opportunity may be showing up for you to, you know, learn more, do more, or put your skills to use. What else? Here it is. 
I just, I knew it. I knew it. And I told you, unleash the wild within. I could see it right over here with the, the this cards here. <laughs> Look at it. It's like wild. So it's, it's always good to see how we can see uh, both aspects of the positive and the negative in things, right? But you, uh, Cancer, you're meant to unleash something wild within yourself here and you're meant to stand out, Cancer. You're not meant to, you know, be hidden or be even scared of, you know, others no noticing you or wanting to know more about you. If you feel like you need to, to spend time by yourself, protect your energy and just give into something really natural and raw that wants to come out, you know, give into your passions, do something wild and fun for you. Okay. And also, you know, you've got this, um, she wolf and he wolf here. So this is, um, a shamanic, a shamanic medicine journey that's going on for a lot of you cancers. Okay. So take time to honor that journey. Remember we got the drum dream and journey here. <clears throat> this is justice card to me. Let go of the need to be right. Yeah. You know, even if you feel that you're right, because sometimes just needing to be right can make a conversation go sideways because there's something about maybe for some of you guys having a conversation, you know, that maybe we didn't, we couldn't have a resolve here. So for some of you, you have been letting go of the need to be right. And you're standing in your own truth and light for doing so, even if it's a hard thing, right? Even if it doesn't seem like, you know, it's fair right now, but you're trusting in the laws of the universe, everything becomes balance at one time. You're moving beyond and a lot of you have moved beyond ancestral patterns. So you have done a major completion in a soul's journey here, Cancer. Who was this sign that I did before you? Oh, it was Capricorn. So maybe some of you guys, yeah. Oh, was it Capricorn? No, well, I don't know. Sorry. Anyhow, maybe it was Aries. I feel that maybe some of you guys would resonate with the uh, Zodiac sign before yours, but you know, just do whatever you want, you know, don't overdo it. But anyhow, yes, you should be proud of yourself here. You're like the chosen one, by the way, because you're the one that can do it. So yeah, a lot of you, maybe, you know, there will be people that just don't understand you or you're feel misunderstood, but you don't need to explain anything here. You're talented. You're gifted. You're meant to shine on your own for a lot of you. Okay. Because you're not a follower. <laughs> you're a leader. I mean, look at that. Take charge with authority. And to me, this is... <laughs> This is why I was picking up saying unleash the wild within is because this queen of wands just is screaming to me, <laughs> unleash the wild one within because she's that bold. She doesn't care what others think. And it could be really fun for you. And look at that. We're tapping into some type of strong visions as well. Okay. What else for Cancer. Nope. That's it. Okay. So let's find out cancer, what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does cancer have to look forward to in the near future? Take the first step, begin it now. And I was just looking for some reason, what caught my eye here was this cup. <clears throat> Somebody's writing something here. There may be a letter. I know there's something about receiving some positive news here, but I'm also seeing like maybe Ace of Cups or Page of Cups. And I, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but you know, taking that first step, beginning it now, a new opportunity, taking the first step to take charge with authority. Let's find out how spirit is helping you. Oh, it's another angel card too. How is spirit helping cancer?
taking time out for yourself. Uh huh. Taking charge, right? Saying no to the things you need to say no to so you can say yes to yourself. And you guys can see there was a, a common theme here about taking time out, healing, contemplating, you know, whatever you got to do, because things are going to be picking up here, Cancer, and you're going to have to trust yourself more. And by the way, I just see you guys really sharpening your focus, um, your intuition, your gifts. So good for you. And I'm really proud of you because to do something like moving beyond an ancestral pattern takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of guts and you got it. Love and light. Take care.